All right. Well, let's continue this talk after this. Yep. Absolutely. I was waiting um, for you to. Uh, yep. Nope. Okay. You were rooming it. Okay then. You open the door. I attract the darkness. And this narrow chamber ends at two curved alcoves, one to the east and one to the west. Each alcove is enclosed by a dull iron portcullis. A winch next to each provides a way to raise or lower the gates. Beyond each portcullis, a circle of runes glow with a faint orange light on the floor. Inside the circle to the west is a pile of crimson ash, while inside the circle to the east is curled what appears to be a long dead devil, its flesh taut and dry on its bones. I know the answer already, but mm. detect magic. <laughs> it's it's all over the fucking place. Like this is where the magic has been happening. This is where it happened. This is like just magic galore, like something of immense power, some being of immense power did this perception is the devil really dead it is not it is looking at you all right let's get this rolling out give me one second here do you speak com i mean is this thing like a cage like is it kind of it's caged in yes and is inside this circle do you speak common yes How long guys do we negotiate with devils? Let's uh That was a joke. Well, let's Help me set me free. Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. Who put you here? Set me free and I will tell you. Uh, set You're not in a bargaining position. Here. Yeah, let us know before yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna take uh take ten of my spellcraft for twenty three and uh, Nope. No idea. No idea. Huh. Um I'm gonna um Yeah. Help um, me. So um I asked the de the devil if it intends us any harm if we were to let it go. What what was that? Um, <laughs> I asked the devil, like, if we were to let you go, what, what are you going to do? Are you going to kill us? And that's a sense motive check. No. Yeah. I will not kill you. Uh, do I believe it? Yes. Yes, you do. I'm going to just kind of kick on your own shins. You don't yeah, talk to I'm devils. still wary. I mean, I'm not going to just do it. Oh, yeah. He can't. <laughs> you need me. Why do we need you, Mr. Devil? You don't know what this is, do you? <laughs> we know a lot more than you might think. Oh, do you? Hmm. You know what the truth is, gentlemen? That nothing ever comes down here. No one's ever going to talk to you again. And you clearly don't feel like talking to us and revealing anything to us. I say we all leave. Wait, wait, no. No, it, you're, no you're don't. Please, to I. Here, I, I will help you. I'll help you out if you help me. What do you got? I grant you knowledge. If you grant me a promise of releasing me, deals with devils, man. I will leave you be. <laughs> I will leave you be. Let's go. It's clearly not interested in. Uh... No, I said I will tell you. Tell us then. My story. I was teleported here by some cat door. Oh, it seems so long ago. Thousands of years. Maybe his name was Karzog. I think. 
which we were, would know. I mean, we know Karzov's name. Yeah. Um, oh. One of the librarians. I've. Same point told us. I, don't I know that I've been used for this past age to power some type of floodgate. I know that. Help me out. How do you power the floodgate? Just your 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 essence, your energy? Yes. But not only mine. You see that pile of dust over there. <coughs> yeah. It seems I was stronger than my comrade. As as he turned to dust over the eons and eons of years. Huh. So those uh, circles... I am trapped, but one of you... One of you would not be trapped. Does any of you know Dispel Magic? I doubt I could beat a Rune Lord's binding power, even if I knew the spell. So no, no one knows Dispel Magic. Well, I might know it. It's been a while since I've checked my list. Well. Uh, I'm going to could... I'm gonna do some experimentation first. All right. What happens if I summon something on top of that circle right there? Are you going to try? Yes. I'm going to summon a, a leopard. What level is the leopard? Uh, actually, I can. <laughs> it's summon monster four, and and a leopard is a level three summon. Okay. Or summon three things, so I can summon up to three. <laughs> so two leopards are gonna pop up on that circle. No! As the pit fiend burst into ashes, and you hear mechanical, um, winches turning in the floodgates. You hear rushing water. Huh. You think the floodgates have opened, and the pit fiend is no more, or the what, the being is no more. That's what we wanted, right? What happened to the leopards? Um, they're level three, so they're still alive, but they are now level two. I'm like, sorry guys, and I do some of them. All right. They'll heal it off. All right. Well. Proxy uh, flexes her muscles and says, "Looks Bronco. like I just saved the. Just looks like I saved the town." Well, Bronco wraps yeah. his arms around her, picks her up, and kind of spins her around. Good I... job. <laughs> yeah, he said they drained life force, so I figured, you know, they controlled the floodgates. Might as well test it. The uh, the leading issue that I I run into with it though is that how do we close them again? Huh. <laughs> Let's not celebrate right now. Oh. Well, I mean, the immediate threat of the dam falling is, is over now. Now we just have to figure out the flooding issue. It's not over. Is mitigated. Delayed. Uh, we'll uh, pass it on. We'll pass it on to uh, the Black Arrows. See if they know more about this. I think this would be a good position for the for any Black Arrows, Magnamarian forces to retake. They could probably figure it out after a while. Hmm. I mean, if unless unless the floodgates are gonna flood the town anyway, I mean, we just didn't want the dam to break. Yeah, you don't know what will happen. It's better than the whole thing falling down. I guarantee that. Like I said, I'm not a good <coughs> so. Perhaps it is a it is a um, moral repercussion left for the philosophers to argue. Well, we can certainly tell someone about it. I mean, control flooding is better than a burst of water killing everything for the north 50 miles around
All right. One. Well, sorry. I'm. 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 I'm uh, t typing up something. Sure. Jeez, that has got to be the luckiest guess I've ever made. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Raksha looks like a genius to me. Hmm. Yeah, sorry guys. We're just... The shield and good old Coral are having a a talk right now. I wish Roxy knew what was going on. Maybe she could diplomat the shield into being in the Alright. So um yeah, so what do you guys do now? Well, I mean, well, let's go let's go up and take a look at the flood gate flooding. Yeah. I mean that's pretty much we did what we came here to do, whether it's gonna work or not. No. We'll find out. But. True. All right. Um, the floodgates are open, and can ooh, I, can I hey, do one thing. Absolutely, go for it. Would you guys mind following me into this room? I I can't do everything now, but I I at least sure. uh. Is that model doing anything different? Yes, it is actually. It is is uh that you can see the the dam on that model is probably a representation of, of what's going on outside. Damn it. Alright, here's a question for you. That crack in the dam itself mm -hmm. is that represented on the model? It is not. Fuck <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Shit. All right. What are you thinking? Share with the others. My my thought was I I figured that model was representative of what's actually going on out there. I thought if if the model actually animated and changed though. Oh, you could fix the crack on the model. If to I fix could the fix the model there. somehow, if it, it would at least you know if I could plop a couple pebbles in there, would it would it do anything? Uh, another thing. Uh, Quadrule, can you just hug me from behind, please? Yeah. No questions asked. I'm not gonna ask why. I, I would like to uh, stone shape this closed. Okay. Why am I hugging you? I if it comes back up again. I'd... Oh, okay, okay. I'll keep you safe. I'll keep you safe, buddy. It's okay. All right. <sighs> yeah, what I'm I'm doing there, Matt. Oh, sorry. What was that? I was typing something. Uh, Quadrules hugging me from behind uh... and basically prepping uh i'm oh, stone I'm... shaping this closed okay <coughs> I, I don't have it's enough. um it's metal though oh it's metal i'm sorry okay uh yeah you know what never mind then it's all good okay <coughs> i just don't want that troll to become a problem again all right uh, i'm gonna tell the guys hey i'm gonna i think i see something in this room you see a bundle behind the door in the circle where Axial was slain. Hmm. Is it less than five pounds? Because I can mage hand it over. And you can also just open the door if you want. Just mage hand it over if you would. Yeah. You can mage hand it over. Oh, sure, I'll open the door. I just, uh, <laughs> you open the door, and it is a mis it is a bundle wrapped in what appears to be possibly human skin, dried, Ugh. leathery human skin, ages old. Ugh. There so seems to be something inside. Um. I'll uh, put some gloves. I put some gloves on it. <laughs> Detect right. evil, Matt. Oh yes. But of course, Roxy doesn't know this, so Roxy puts right. gloves on. I grab her shoulder. 
All right. She definitely got a uh, an evil glow to it, girl. I don't know about touching it. Uh, Alex. Oh, we lost Alex again. It was working so well. It was. <sighs> Alex! Can you hear us? <laughs> yes, I know. I know, Kevin. What? Just frozen. Frozen. The movie Frozen. Do you want to kill a demon? <laughs> <laughs> Come oh. on, let's go and fight. <laughs> it seems so... Saying, okay, as you were saying. Uh, well, if Crawl's going to advise me not to touch it, I'm... It, it, it just has an evil aura coming, coming from it. Incredibly evil. I don't know what I'll, uh, detect magic. It's very magical. I mean, we do have magic circle against evil mm -hmm. in emanating from here. Mm -hmm. Actually, it follows you around, crawl. Yeah. Oh, we're a retractor. I think. Boop. Uh, okay. I'll t I'll take a I'll take a risk. All right, you open the leather um, bindings, and there is a mysterious deck of cards. Oh, goodness. Out of game, I know what the fuck that is. In game. Um, oh, yeah. Really? We're doing this? We're doing that? Yeah, We're doing crap. that deck? Really? We're doing that? You don't know what it is. If it's evil. Oh, what are, what are you doing? I'm going to put it on the ground, and I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm just going to put it on the ground, and I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> Let me check something up real quick. Pick a card, any card. Don't. Hold on. Do you know what it is? No one game. knows what it is. Why? Well, I mean, like, out of game. Um, no nothing it's really cool. marks it. <laughs> Actually, don't, don't, I'm not gonna do anything actually, like there is no, there is no specifically evil. Yeah, there's not a specific evil it's, aura. It's um, it's there is a strong magical aura, but there seems to be many auras, uh, good and evil, emanating from the cards. But nothing. It kind of, it just kind of blah as far as alignment goes. But it has a strong magical aura of all schools. Huh. So I'm not gonna touch it. No. Okay. I mean, he just said it was evil, so I'm not. I'm not messing with evil cards. Fair enough. I've watched enough Yu-Gi-Oh to know what happens when you. Do um. That. But Crawl, you realize your mistake, and you realize it's not evil. That it's not. It's not evil. Oh, it's not evil. The uh. Well, You're trying to go away on it at all, or? Let's roll a uh, D100 to see what I do. Wow. There's, um... I don't die. I'm still not going <laughs> to... Okay. Touching them. Oh, yeah. man. On the, um... On the leather bindings... On the insides is scrawled in blood as if with a quill you must announce how many you will draw if you wish to draw I can't know what it is but um well, but yeah if you... human skin and crawl even though he made a mistake mm -hmm. he still yeah. was evil it, there's totally nothing wrong with just leaving it there so you, you have not been. You have not obligated to do anything. 
Well, Roxy has made her decision. She's not going to touch it. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I have to let the numbers decide because Zach knows what's going on. Well, but quad is Quadrule very wise? He's 16 uh, wisdom. Yeah, yeah, he's. It's pretty wise. Yeah, he's thinking it's probably not the greatest thing in the world. It's but. engraved with glyphs, characters, and sigils. Fuck. Do do they represent um, the sigils and stuff? Do, does it look like uh, people by any chance? Um, hold on. Coral's got got a good had a good thing. That is correct. It's not necessarily good. It's it's probably an essence of true chaos. Yes. Anything else? Think of it like Very. that. Um, Very chaotic. A chance for incredible power or death. Um, regardless, it sh it shouldn't be left here. Fucking Christ! Should I do it or not? That's up for for you to decide. Are you it. gonna do it? Um. All right, Alex. I, Alex, you missed it, but um, Carl basically just said that. Go ahead, Carl, and just. Uh, it's it. They are cards of incredible power, as as we can see. They they can grant an amazing boon or even your death. They they aren't necessarily evil. Or good, which is which is what had thrown me off originally. It is it is an essence of true chaos. Um, it's it's impossible to predict what it may do. Regardless, I don't think it should be left here. Regardless, I will take them with me. Uh, it doesn't have to be in the same satchel, and I I say that both out loud and. Just be careful not to accidentally. Draw one. You have to announce. Well, don't you have to draw. announce it? Uh, you do have to announce. That is correct. So, um, is Roxy doing that? Roxy, is, Roxy said Roxy she wasn't. Not gonna touch them. I mean, it yeah. is a chance for more incredible power. It, it is a chance for some type of major weakness. Uh, it, as I said, it's it's true chaos. Um, I, I couldn't tell you. The more you talk about it. It seems that maybe these ones are a little... You actually are getting something on your Detect Evil on this. Uh, it's not supposed to do that, as far as the shield tells you. That perhaps these ones are more oh, you? more unlucky than normal. Fucking shield. So, anyways, so, so, so well, much rule. Now that Roxy thinks about it. We... I'm getting a vibe... <laughs> That <laughs> are lucky cards. <laughs> these these are incredibly lucky cards that once drawn will grant yeah. you. You want your I'm transcendence, good. dude? Level twenty in a snap, brother. I'm telling you what. No, I, I absolutely. Uh, you're lying. That, <laughs> that they feel off to me, and they feel off the shield. Um, I will, I will take them. I I'm I have no intention of drawing one. <laughs> If if you would like to, by by all means, um, I I won't stop you. But uh, no, I if I was playing a different character, I would probably do it. But I would I, really I would, would sooner let Tangle draw one than Tangle would have done it. it. Yeah, Tangle would have totally done it. But I would have uh, encouraged. I would have I would have I would have had Roxas sit on Tangle. The more I think about this, the more I think it's a bad idea. I mean, we found it wrapped in leather, get human skin, and the and the ashes of a devil. Do you actually know what it is, Alex? Like out of game? Out of game, I think I do, but. Gotcha. 
in game, Roxy has been given multiple reasons not to do much more with it. Yeah, Quadro's not going to push it. He's he's no interest. Right. <coughs> and this is foolhardy. I mean, you just said you detected evil. It was found in human skin in the ashes of a devil. I don't know how much more evil you could get. Throw it into the pool. No. Oh, no. No. Has, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking it with me. Uh, if we've got anything to... I, can I wrap it in a cloth with... Do I have Let me hold it. Absolutely. Let me hold it. <laughs> yes! You, if, if anyone else would like to carry it, that's fine. Uh, these these will not be sold. They will not be... The only one we could give this to is some incredibly powerful cleric or something for safekeeping. I just don't want it left here. Well, that's fine. All right, let's head out. <coughs> All right. None of you bit, which is good. I suppose. I'm surprised you brought that into the campaign, honestly. Yeah. I just thought it'd be nice chaos. Shit up. Yeah, I know. I was like, well, I don't think anyone will do it, but but it I'll just throw it. shake things up. It'd be interesting for sure. If I was playing uh, Mercer, Mercer would have drawn a card. And, and a well, heartbeat. it was only I only out of game. I only dropped it because you guys did not release the pit fiend, and so he left it there oh, okay. to tempt you know, kind of tempt you with it um gotcha. all right well cool I, i'm ready to head out i'm gonna be very freaking wary of that pool there's no i'm gonna go into this other room i'm not walking past that pool i'm gonna <laughs> to, to go around ready to punch punch the water i'm gonna kind of strafe all right <laughs> just backing up against the water here <laughs> yep same here I'm ready to leave. I mean, if everybody else is, we'll get to the stairway, reconvene here. I did, though, go around and find some awesome cards for it. Oh, you didn't use the default cards? I used uh, tarot cards. Oh, you actually found ca physical yeah. cards? To use oh, no, not cards. not physical. I um have the images uploaded as, oh, as okay. a deck of cards, so... I figured you just rolled a 1d26. No, I actually had images. Or 22, rather. But you, yeah. if you want to see them, you'll have to draw. <laughs> oh, man. There's a lot of good stuff in there, too. It just is... Not these ones. Uh, no, Alex, can, you, can you summon something to take a... <laughs> How would that... So you didn't use the default ones? Oh, I, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. I mean, at the end of the day, our... our... Our meta gaming is obviously. <coughs> well, yeah, I'm not. Quadro's not drawing no matter what. I'm just curious what Matt did because that it could seriously fuck up the game. But if you put mostly evil stuff, it could just mostly fuck us. The game will be fine. The game will continue. <laughs> if you, you know, if you lose twenty thousand experience points, mm. you know, the game will be fine. I don't know. All right. <coughs> is anyone joining me in the stairwell? I'm dying here. <laughs> yeah, I think we're making our way. Up. All right, so you guys are making your way back up. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm not crossing the center pool, <laughs> going around as as he did. Uh, I I did just want to take one one last look at the model. I mean, we see that the heads are are spewing water, so to speak. Yeah. Right. Uh, but that that model doesn't show any cracks or holes again. It, That's it's... correct. Yeah. Okay. At least you do know how the floodgates operate. We couldn't close them again, though. If um, we'd need creatures in there, theoretically. But, I mean, it, the way a floodgate works, though, is once there's no more water behind it, it's not going to keep draining water. It's not a problem again. Why? Dungeoneering? But, but no. You oh, know yeah. how a floodgate works, though. We don't want there to be no more water. Well, I mean, it equals out. It's the height of the dam. I mean... Yeah. Well, it, it's going to be the right, It's going to be the height I mean, of that. the The issue is if that's enough water to to completely drown whatever we're trying to stop. But the whole point of a floodgate is just to relieve pressure against the, the dam itself, like against that that um yep. 
that structure. So this this isn't a permanent solution by by any means. Water is going to keep pouring out of this until it either drowns the city and, and equalize in that way, or uh, I mean, you know, I mean, other, otherwise you would you would build your dams either smaller or with holes. I mean, we could we could assign somebody you know duty here or something like that, and they oversee the operations of the dam. But we don't know how to close it. I, it's how a floodgate works. Once the water level drops behind it, it's not going to continue to drain it. I'm I'm assuming there's like stone counterweights or. How long have you guys been down here, anyways? After killing the pit fiend. We've Probably been gone. Time. Maybe 15 to 20 minutes? That must have taken like yeah, 10 was, minutes. I was going to go 10 minutes, but yeah, 15, 20 is fine. We'll go 15. <laughs> All right. That guy's bark skin. All right. So you guys make your way back up? Yep. All right. Where do you go to now? It is still raining. Let's uh, reconvene with Leroy. All right. Yeah. Let's just... Um, uh, doesn't look like we have much else to do. Let's go back to Fort Rannick and tell them what's up. All right. On your way back to Fort Rannick, you notice that the this. you notice that the jaws on the dam start closing by themselves as the water levels behind the dam have indeed fallen to a level. Oh, so oh that's interesting. Yes. That's what I was trying to say. But yeah, that's that's not how floodgates and, uh, and there's got to be some type of magical. Or at least very mechanical. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like some type of. Oh, I mean, this is oh, obviously yeah. very powerful. It was this built is, by. Uh, hmm. You know, cars are built by a room. Yeah. Dude. Right, but regardless, I mean, you know. Well, you know how to open it, and you know that it shuts by itself. Yeah, I mean, you're really good at talking people into doing things or working for you. So why don't you just go ahead and assign people here? This is now a 24/7, 365 operation of. The black arrows, or something like that, and now they take care of the, you know, I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's a one solution, but maybe. Yeah, let's tell the black arrows about it. I mean, we can't be constantly draining it. We got to repair it. Is the the big. Huh. Um. That that's and I, I think that would be a decent enough job for the people of Turtleback Ferry, and at least for now, as as the future is kind of untold, we can have LB oversee some of this stuff. Yep, absolutely. And I think that would be a fitting cause for a paladin of uh, watching over this area. Until, until otherwise noted. So let's um. Let's have that going. We'll we'll start off at Fort Rannick. Tell them of, of what happened there of ogres, trolls, and Etten's oh my. Alright, we we'll, we will um actually stop it right there as this has been a very long session for very short amount of stuff to do. Um hopefully Alex next time we play you'll be back at school. <laughs>